Hi guys, back with another tutorial. Um, I've got a huge list of supplies that you're going to need. Sorry, jump the camera again. Um, pencil, knife cutter, pen, I've got a mint green, stamp with a camera on, little scissors, big scissors, ruler, corner punch, glue, I use the art glitter glue dry clear, uh, double sided adhesive tape, then we're going to need two of these, the, the tie bags, the fabric, not used one before but I'm going to give it a go, Versimark fine ink pad in black, your stamping block to put your stamps on. I've got a selection of ribbons here. Um, I have got girls and boys on this. This is little prams. Um, we've got It's a Baby Boy with a pram on. Then I've got some ribbon with little stalks on. Uh, then I've got some ribbon with little bears on. A lot of these you can get at your local haberdashery shops. Um, then I've got this, what I think is quite cute, with little flowers on. Then I've got some um, little green flowers here. And I've got these from craft supply where I go um, no longer available anymore the craft shop in Leeds it's shut down but this is by the hobby home just little mint flowers then I've got crafty bits 3d stickers um, don't know how many of these we're going to use but um, we've got them Obviously, a big must in his albums is as magnets. Um, these are one mil thick by I think ten mil. Yep, by ten mil. I get them on um, the neodymium magnets. Um, just remember to slide them off um, when you're using these, not to just let them think because they can break. I have had thinner ones and they've broke. I just get these off of eBay. I will try and list, link the shop where I get them from. Then, something different I'm going to do in this album. I've never used them before. And they're called music types. You get three in a pack. I got these from my local craft shop. And I think I bought an out of them all. And these are called Rockabye Baby. And if you open it, let me try this middle one. got to make sure that when you put them in that the connection meets um, and like I say they are called Rockabye Baby and the idea is when you've got them in your paper if that's folded that bit it won't play but when it's opened out it will and I, I want to incorporate this in part of the album now you get three in a pack for a pound you can't grumble like I say I bought a load about the wedding march um, I bought the love song, I bought quite mainly all her supply that she got of them. Then this is only going to be a smallish album is this, um, but that's them. Then I've got these, um, I think they're made by 6-2 or something, the double, double sided adhesive pads. Um, and I'm going to use these for my hinges because I just seem to think that well, using too much of my tape and I thought I'll give them a go it might just give that extra bit of a bond and you get two in a pack I bought two packs of them and they were only cheap oh and actually I think you get um, one, two, three in a pack 
so I've got six and they're only £1.53 from my local craft shop then I've got some of these and this one I absolutely love and I'm going to use that for the front of my album and I got these from Kanban Crafts everyone will have probably seen them on Create and Craft um, and I, I've got that one and I'm going to use this it's a, ba a baby boy on the front of my album then I've got some other little bits and there's some bits you can cut out on them and then I've got this one and this is the same I got this at Kanban Crafts and you get your little um, baby boy with a washing line um, some bigger ones and I suppose we can make these into 3D bits in the album so I am going to use some of these in the album then you're going to need two pieces of chipboard this is bezels chipboard this is 12 by 12 sheets it's white on one side craft colour on the other the craft colour I am going to lay down onto my paper so that's that bit then for my main pages in my album I've got three different kinds of paper here my main pages I'm going to use white then I've got my green my blue oops I've got a piece of paper in there I don't want that I'm not going to look white sorry that in my tub down there so these are the three colours that I am going to use in the album then let me clean there Beth. yeah two of them so I'm going to use them then oh, two. just two then for the main part of my album I'm going to use two of these they're quite sparkly and the by bezel again and the mint green cards these are 12 by 12 this is to make the main part of the album one side's glittery one side's plain then excuse me i've left a, a price on this i'm going to use these stamps these are baby stamps um because you've got name date, time, weight, length, I want to put that on one of them um, and any others a new baby boy babes, hands, it's a baby boy, it's a baby girl the stalk, other little bits so I'm going to use these in my album and all because um, I want to do a page um, the dies that I'm going to use for my pockets and that I've got my heartfelt creation on it borders and pockets I got this from um, oh, I can't remember the name of the place but in Scotland lovely company I will try and list their, link their shop in my listing at the bottom um, and the other one I'm going to use is floral borders and pockets I just think it's a lovely die and this came from the same place again then the other dies I'm going to use we'll just grab a piece of paper so you can see them I'll just grab a piece of this lemon hopefully you will see it on there I've got a dummy a rattle a baby's bottle a baby's bib a baby's vest I've got A, B, C there, I've got a baby boy and I've got congratulations. So they're a couple of the, just the little dies that I'm going to use in the set. Let's put that back on there because I like to try and keep everything that I'm doing. I have this little, this little white tray here and what I tend to do is all my bits that I'm using I just keep them all on the tray. So if put all them back. You are going to need just a small piece of acetate. Um, I get this at my local stationery shop. Just a little piece of acetate, and I'll show you why for some little window pockets that I'm going to do. 
<coughs> so if I just grab all my bits back that I want on the tray, I just try and keep stuff as much as I can in order. Um, I just find it an easier way. Just pop them back on top of there. And then on there, I'll just put these in order because the first bits that we're going to be using are going to be your tie bags. These and your outer papers. I won't put that ribbon on there. And then my paper I'm going to be using in this album I do now know it is no longer available in the UK unless you find someone luckily enough to be selling this. Um, this is made by First Editions. It's a 6x6 paper pad. You get 64 sheet, 64 sheet pad, 4 sheets of 16 designs acid free the 200 gsm um, and there's some wonderful little bits in this um, on this to me it looks upside down but in it's love arts with little birds and flowers on and you get four of them then this page i'm going to show you how to cut this out to slot a picture and this is where i'm going to have my stamp of the baby and baby boy you get four of them then these are just fantastic for little cutouts for little tags um, and stuff like that then you've got the cloud paper you've got the mint green paper you've got some with your alphabets on then you've got little birds they're all one-sided them ones but then as you come through these are still one-sided i love this and this is beautiful is this page they're all one-sided then you've got these ones these are now double-sided as you can see the blue on the other side um, then you've got the one with the cloud you've got four of them they're all double-sided then you've got your greens they're all double sided then you've got this one that is double sided I love this one this striped that's a double sided again it's blue then we've got the blue one with the blue on again then we've got the brown with a flower on with a brown colour then we've got this green one with a green on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this paper pad and what I'm going to do is where you see more or less it's half and half of the album where you've got the double sided because what I'd like to do is if I take say this piece from here and just pull that out and then I go to this piece here I can make a little, little pocket and that'll sit behind so these I am going to be using as my main back pieces and the decorative ones as my front um, I am gonna <laughs> be making quite a few die bits in these and I oh, can't find where that goes now and other little bits um, and doing quite a lot of stamping um, if you like me and you like inking your corners I sometimes, if I'm using a green like this colour, I'll use a pen and I'll just get my pen and I'll just go around the edge with a pen and as you can see it takes that white bit away if I go like that. But a lot of people tend to use an ink pad. Um, but I like to use my pen to whatever colour page I'm using but I don't know if I'm going to win this album um, I'll probably be using um, some bits and bops and stuff like that uh, just put this back from that page there it's 
not going to be a big big album um, the other embellishments that I've got to use in this is some little blue flower diamantes um, keep stuff up on my rack here. I've got a couple of little bits of bling there and then these and the other chip little bar bits that I'm going to be using um, just to embellish bits. I was trying to look for a stamp with a bath so I could put baby's bath time um, on there but I didn't find any um, but as we go along obviously I can try and find happy amazing fun memories loves party family cry love no I don't want them I don't want them as you can see I have got loads loads of craft pieces here, there and everywhere. Um, I have got some flat back. Um, I think I got these at the range. Pearls. Um, I think I paid a pound for them. But I probably might use as we go through the album. I'm not so sure which bits I want to use. I mean I have got loads and loads of other heartfelt dyes that I could use through this but I don't want to. I want to try and limit what we're using in this. I mean some of these are blues and yellows so I'm going to keep these out. Them ones I'm not. Um, so it is based on this paper pad um, I'm hoping that I might be able to get some digital downloads that have like one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, baby's bath time and I have got some right nice borders that I can put on little tags and that. The other stuff that you may want and how I use, I have this We Are Memory Keepers scoring board. It was a cut and scar board, but I didn't like it as a cut and a scar board. Um, I was forever replacing the blades on the cut side. And to be quite honest, this bit is absolutely as flimsy as day. I am going to, at one point, double sided tape this down because it flaps about it drives me absolutely cuckoo um just let me see if i can do it with this while i'm on here is that what i have yep it drives me absolutely demented and because it's so flappy and so flexible when you're crafting or you're doing anything it does tend to move around a lot um, it's so so flimsy so I don't know if you've been watching me on YouTube like I say I am newish to YouTube um, I bought myself the Fiscus um, sorry I have all my shelves up there with glitters, glues glossy accents, multi matte media embossing tools, sticky dots ribbons paints gilding waxes picture frames chipboard things that i've made um i have all my punches and all my dies here i have my pens here i have my computer here i have my printer here so i'm just gonna try this and see if i just burnish this down a bit and this that comes with it is absolutely rubbish the amount of times i've had to file it down um so unfortunately we are memory keepers don't like it really don't like it it's too flimsy 
too cheaply made so because what I'm finding is when I'm putting my paper up this tends to move now that I've double sided tip this down now it's not going to flap about as much so when I put a piece of paper or a piece of card and I put that up to it now you see for some reason I always thought it would out a bit if I just run that down there like that I always thought it just fell out of the paper every time I was using it I don't know if it were me or what but I just didn't like it at all um, I'm just let me see if that's oops if that's any better because if I put that up to that now yeah so since I've taped that down it's stopped that flapping about but the only thing that I find is and I'll show you this when we get to the middle and I want to score at five and a half inches it goes off but since I've done that actually it's not gone off but it tends to go off because it, it just has weak if you look it's just weak points in the board such a bad bad design if I'd done that any better I would have got a pocket out of that but yeah it's just a real bad design and I'll, I'm a very OCD crafter I have to have everything to place where I want it I know where it is but yeah it's such a bad design it's I wish that they'd have had another one of them there all the way along um, you know like here they could have put an extra bobble there and an extra bobble there but they didn't so there you go that's that then this is my humongous Fiskars paper cutter now for me to cut with it I tend to have it on my desk this way around only because I can't use it the other way because um, of the stuff that I have so I have it this way the only downfall that they, they did when they made this is my sticker line doesn't line up in places very accurate so yes I know that that's my line but they missed off here and someone was saying this the other day about if I <coughs> lift my catch up and I put my ruler on here right for me oh I've actually one inch there sorry for me yes it, it lines up You've got your five and a half, but your five and three quarters, I know, is in this little gap here. So if I want to run at five and three quarters, I know it's there. I know at six, it's this little line here. But for it to get, obviously, if I put that on the sixth mark there, like that, and put that there, you see, it's not even now it is now it's lining up I know that this little line here if I just get a piece of paper and show you we'll get this piece that I've just used if I put that there like that and I put and put it this way I put that there I know if I line it up exactly up to this line here all the way along and cut obviously it doesn't even fit that way we'll do it this way do it this way i know by me putting it up to that line there and there i cut by right that now if i measured this should be five and three quarters but it isn't so that is the only downfall you have got with this is that they didn't put like a little sticker or a little guide mark like a little black line going across for them few little 
bits because a lot of people like to cut at five and three quarters or six and three quarters it's one of them things so absolutely love my Fiskars paper cutter if you'd have seen YouTube I did do one on cutting chip board thin chip board yes thick chip board no and as you can see it still has that little bit of a, a rookie noise but I am gonna get my partner to take this blade out here and just make sure that it's running all fine um, and that because I know it does screw on at the bottom and it is it is a good heavy piece of tool um, and it is fantastic I just wish they had have done that extra bit of marking but unfortunately they didn't um, and I love the fact that you can put your fingers down on this and when you move your paper doesn't move or anything this does have a a little bit of giving it but not much so this is the list of tools that you're going to need obviously you're going to need a die cutting machine um, I did have the cry cut hand die cutting machine and because if you look at my hands they're absolutely terrible and they really hurt and I went out and bought myself a Gemini by Crafty's Companion and this is is it <coughs> can't lift it too much but this is my die cutting machine if I can get it into shop and you do get all the blades and the things that you do and if like a lot of die cutting machines they are as you can see I've used that but what I've done is I've because you get two of these with it and they don't name any of them um, I'll just show you so I have my A plate and my B plate they're both exactly the same same thickness as everything my A plate is my bottom my B plate is my top then you get a plastic shim what obviously goes on top of there then you get a magnetic mat and it only goes one way for it to be magnetic that goes there like that and then you get your B plate and I'll just show you the advantage I like about this is if you turn it on say I've got a die in there press go say I've heard me click of my die that's cutting I can pause it and reverse it <laughs> and if I haven't got a lot of room that I haven't because obviously my tripod's to my right of me and as you know I keep knocking it but I can bring it back to me so I'm pulling my work back through so as for a die cutting machine yes it's very heavy but it's a very basic one it's a lovely machine I like the fact that you can reverse on it so for the die cutting machine yes thumbs up very much the only thing I don't like about it is the weight of it it is absolutely heavy so say I don't know say I'm sat here and I've got it on and I'm going to put my die through like that obviously you can't see but I'm just for instance I can pause it press my reverse button and bring as you'll see and you might not belt up but it is coming back to me so I'm not having to reach right out and grab all my dies and all my bits and everything else so so this is a list of what you're going to need what you want I aren't going to start it right here right now because kids will probably be wanting tea very shortly um, I just thought I'd do an interim list of what we are going to 
be using if you have got this paper pad I want you to get out this one and what I did is I got my little scissors and I just cut into the middle and I cut up and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gently going to go around try and do this from the back if I can and I'm just gently going to snip this bit out because I will tidy it up a bit obviously there's a little bit of fussy cutting on this one um, I'm not bothered about keeping these little dangly down hearts obviously you can cut them out um, if you bring it round like that then just do the same at this side what I tend to like to do is if I'm fussy cutting and I've got a few bits I'm fussy cutting I tend to try and get them all done before I pre start my album um, so that I've got them there and then ready to just pull out and do I am going to cut around this wing here because it is part of as you can see the wing at the other side um, and I'll just fussy cut this bit out here certain bits of it I like to keep and certain bits I don't depending what album I'm doing what paper I use as you know I am a very very graphic 45 person love graphic 45 just got this morning French collection um, and I'm just waiting for some Bo Bunny um, cardstock to come um, to do another album um, it's my mum were a bit annoyed actually because I'd seen it online it was cheap and it was like I'm having that I'm having it for what everyone else is selling it at where people get their prices from for certain stuff on eBay is absolutely beyond a joke I got it at a real true bargain I paid 17 for it now I know there's a company that I use and it's called Garden Crafts something like that I'll, I'll link it in if I can their address and I um, use them a lot and I know from them and their retailer at 24.99 for it so I got it at an absolute bargain a true killer bargain um, so oops sorry I just knocked you off flying again so that's what I've done is I've just trimmed that bit out and just before I go if I grab a stamp and this my stamp block and I want this bit with I want to line that up there but I know that it's right I want to put it at this side actually because by the time I turn this and stamp it it's going to be on the other side so I'm just going to line that up what sort of a rubbish stamp is this I only just got it and it were some old stock my craft shop had in so if I put that like that get that line that up um, can I line it up with that corner in there yes I can I can measure that up and I know that it's probably going to be straight then then I've got this in here 
that says, if I can get it off this stupid plastic sheet, she's had them that long and she's kept them in a window of the shop and as you can see, they're absolutely super glued to this sheet of plastic that they go on and it's absolutely awful to get it off it's super super stuck down and I mean super super stuck down then I want baby's arrival up there in that top corner so we'll leave that one off for a minute um, oops, well the hands have come off. Um, we'll have that a new baby boy. baby boy and the time, the way, the date and everything. I'm just making sure that that's on the stamping box straight and it doesn't seem to be so just line that up. So what I love about these stamping box is you can line up and make sure you're more or less straight. So I'm going to have that like that. Um, and I think I'll have the baby's arrival down there. So, if I line that bit up there, put that there. By the time I turn that over and we line all this up, yes, that is going to work how I want it to work. I wish I had one of the We Are Memory Keepers ones that you just put on and you just put your stamps on and you lift it down. I think that's going to be my next buy. My partner's thinking, oh my god, what now? What next? So I'm just going to get my fine, I use fine for the intricate stamping, my stamp up pad. And sorry, a bit of paper there. And I'm just going to stamp that up, stamp that, and then I'm just going to do a little test, I've just got a piece of kitchen roll here, I'm just going to do a little tester, I'll just do that again, just let me wash that off, I've just got a bit of ink on me, ink block, just let me take a bit of that off. Right, so I'll just take the excess ink off now. Um, I'm just gonna, let us say, I'm just gonna just put my pad on like that. Same with this. I'm just gonna just ink up like this and I've just got a little bit of excess on my block that I don't want and in between the stamp I've just got a little bit of ink I don't want on there but I do want the ink pad to be definitely Just do that. Just put my cover back on this. I've got ink all over my hands now. I'm just going to turn my paper this way because I find it easier to line up. I'm just going to actually. Sorry, I'm just going to grab a piece of masking tape. Because <coughs> this is a page where I'm going to have the. Um, 
music lullaby on and I want this no I'm not going to use masking tape because that is absolutely sticking off and disgusting I've got a piece of washi tape here I'm just going to line it up on this like that stick my bit of washi tape there and a bit up here now my block I'm just going to line it up the best I can and then I'm just going to give it a good rub down like that push down I don't want to push down too much and yeah we've got this bit we've got this bit but we haven't got the time and the date <coughs> lovely I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to do this page bit again just hoping that I can line this up without destroying it. <coughs> and of course, I've messed it up. But what I'm going to have to do is do the two bigger stamps first. So I'll use this as a rough piece. Do that, do that. I'm just going to do this as a rough piece. Stamp that bit like that. Pull this bit off and this bit off. And I'll do my time and my date. Just clear that off a bit. And this is going to have to go on a separate stamp like that so I've worked this in out we know how we're having it now so if I put if I put a baby boy oh shit don't think I should have said that one but I did sorry people didn't mean to say that very awful word I don't like the see you uh, on Tuesday word neither. I am going to seriously, seriously sort my daughter out. She's just flicked, flagged, flicked a bobble at me. <laughs> this is what I've just had flying over my head. Well, guess what? Won't do it. <laughs> if you could see, she's actually sat there on the bed, absolutely. Cringy mist. Please don't, Elizabeth. I'm very, very cross with you if you carry on, please. You want to stay in here and watch my tutorials, you stay, but no messing about, please. Uh, you can tell she's broke up from school. She goes to sixth farm soon. Get in there, because she won't be at home under my feet. <laughs> um she's got a couple of ink tape days to go to and that so I am gonna I'm just gonna move this over to this side actually because I can line I can line this stamp better up on this if I put that there I suppose this is what these marks are for lining your stamps up but I do know that that isn't as high as the other stamps so if I put a baby boy it's quite hard because the words are not very straight I think these thighs have had too much sun to them she keeps a lot of stuff in it shop windows and because we live near the seaside it is so so warm and 
as you can see I doubled that up but I'm just going to try just put that on the wrong side that needs to be there for this block at least you've got your lines that you can line your stamps up on so if I turn that now yes so before I even stamp it again I'm not a, a very good stamper I've not been a stamper I'm pretty new to stamping but if I look at this this one is quite higher than the other one so what I'd have to do is ink up the black. Let's see if we can get them all on. on the same going this time. Gonna cover the ink already. So I'm just gonna just place that on a piece of paper. Push down and lift, and it, it's missing bits of it out again. Just don't care, it might be me just not putting enough weight on. And they're not a sponge formed back of these, so it's obviously new to me, but I want to get it right before I waste another piece of paper so we'll line it up again I'll pop it down it's mainly these little ones that are not lining up that good but still not it's that just that little bit of the stamp there and I don't know if just let me try it without that one there what I might have to do is do these two first, the two little ones, and then do the big one, obviously, by itself. But this is all part of practicing and learning. Um, I think this is why I'm going to buy the We Are Memory Keepers one. Yeah. So it's done it, but it's blurred. So I think I've put a bit too much pressure on. I'll have another go. Um, please, someone out there, give me a bit of advice on how to use ink stamps and ink pads because I've not used them before. Just pop that down and just push gently. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. And then again. We've got a bit missing. We've got this top one missing. What is going on? Ah, please, help. I think I might have to inbox May May made it. She uses these all the time. All different ones. And she's probably sat there saying, just rub it, just do this, just do that. Well, it's not that easy, May May. I have got a little in adding thing but see done that bit but that the bottom bit's gone blurred and I'm using a very fine ink I'm using Versimark ink right I'm just gonna change my ink see if it could be something to do with me ink I'm gonna use I have got the Tim Holtz distress ink here in black I am going to of ink on this I think I'm going to have to start storing these I watched someone on YouTube last night and she says to keep them fresh and keep them well is to keep, store them upside down apparently that's the best way what I might have to do with this ink pad 
is use I've got a little stone but the idea was to line all these up and use them all together but it ain't having none of it just give that another big pop again that bit it's a bit that does seem a little bit higher than the rest of it so it could be just that there we go so <laughs> I've done that straight away fine so is it this ink that I bought that I paid an absolute fortune for not 100% but compared to let me ink up again with a Versamark that's the Versamark fine that I'll we'll try again give it a little push see it's blurred down there and not up there I'll give it one more go with this if not I think the tin holds black is going to be the better one so we'll just get this paper just going to give a little wiggle not too much it's nearly that wet there no so it's got to be the ink if I get my Tim Holtz distress ink obviously you get quite a bit of it all over I have got another one up there that's a bit wetter than this ink pad so I'm going to start storing them upside down straight away oh. I don't know, I don't know if it's me any suggestions, anyone please give me a shout out um, like I said but this is the stamp that we're going to use what I might find that I'll do is um, I might do this little bit separate and then the top bit separate because to me as I'm looking at that that is slightly higher so just let me take the baby boy off I will clean these up in a minute might get my daughter to clean them up for me yeah. she said no I'll try the versi mark a bit again leave that there like that and then yeah so it has to be when I'm using the other stamps but what I can do is I can do this bit put the other two on and take these this one out I obviously know which line put it on the three inch and the one inch in between them so it has to be the stamp the other stamps are a bit higher than this one. What well, a bit upset about, but um, it's all a learning curve, as you can see. I've never done much stamping, um, and if you see my other YouTube video, I had a right epithet over some stamps that I bought. Well, both me and my mum did because they didn't come with the backing. And I've just ordered back in. And we have watched a couple of friendly YouTubers that I talk to and that on how to back. Have I got that now? Um, I just put that on top of there. So yes, I'm going to have to do them. Unfortunately, all separate. But as for Mitty Maltz, I'm going to start storing them upside down because apparently it keeps them, as they say, lubricated or wet. My daughter seems to think that that's a funny comment, but children are silly and children do. So, I am going to say bye bye for now, and I will be back shortly with my tutorial. Bye!